Liv. Today I have a super exciting themed video for you. It is vegan Halloween treats. I know that not every country celebrates Halloween, but in any case, these treats are just really creative and fun and just something different if you're having a party or you just want to impress your friends. So I hope you guys enjoy it. That is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So to get started with the worms and dirt, you need two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of cocoa, two tablespoons of a sugar of choice, so you could also use a liquid sweetener like agave or maple syrup. Then you need three quarters of a cup of non-dairy milk, so I used almond, but you could also use coconut, rice milk, oat milk, you get the idea. And just whisk that up so that there's no dry pieces of cocoa floating around on the top. Then you want to refrigerate this for at least an hour, but two to three hours is probably best. So it should resemble this when it is done. Now you can leave it like this, or if you want more of a traditional pudding consistency, you could blend it in a high speed blender, which is what I did here. And this is going to give you that really smooth, creamy, traditional pudding consistency, if that's what you're looking for. So then just put that into a cup. So this amount just makes one cup. So if you want more, you'll want to double or triple the recipe. And then for the dirt on top, I just, in a food processor, I blended a few Oreo cookies, but you could also use other cookies if you don't wanna use Oreos. So you can see I did one blended and one not blended. And then you just want to take some vegan gummy worms. I will insert a photo of the vegan brand here so that you can find it online and order it. Um, but you're just going to stick those in however you want to make them look like they are laying in the dirt or coming out of the dirt. And yeah, that's it. So for the monster apples, you need one apple or more if you want to make a bunch of these. And you're just going to cut as close to the core as possible on each side. And obviously don't throw this out, you can just kind of snack on that while you're making these. And then cut each of those in half. Then very carefully with a super sharp knife, you're going to cut out a mouth. So I just did one cut and then flipped it over and cut it again and that cut out a little wedge in the middle and it was the perfect size for a mouth. So just repeat that with all four and then you're going to take some nut butter or jam and just put that on the inside of the mouth to make it look like, you know, it's not just an apple. And then you're going to take some pieces of nuts or seeds, so I use sunflower seeds, and just poke those in really gently into the apple. And it obviously doesn't have to be perfect. If they're kind of off, it looks a little bit creepier. And yeah, so that's what it should look like. And then you can leave it like this, just a mouth, or I just put two little chunks of cashews for the eyes. And there you go, there are your monster apples. So these caramel bites are kind of like knockoff Rolos, uh, vegan version. So you need two cups of dates. Make sure they're pitted. And if they're a little bit dry, just soak them in some warm water for 20 minutes. And then just put those in a food processor and blend them up a little bit. Then you're going to add a tablespoon of your favorite nut butter. Um, and then it should resemble a thick caramel once you're done blending that. So blend it as long as you want, but this is kind of what it will look like. And then just take teaspoon size amounts and roll them into little balls. And then you want to refrigerate or freeze these for 20 minutes to an hour, just so that they're easier to dip. Um, or you can just leave them like this, but if you want to dip them in chocolate, kind of take it one step further like I did, then I will show you how to do that. Just melt some chocolate. I used dairy-free chocolate chips, and I just melted those in a double boiler method, but you can also melt it in the microwave. Just Google how to melt chocolate, and you will find tons of resources and proper ways to melt chocolate so that you don't burn it. And then just kind of throw them in and swirl them around until they get covered in chocolate. Um, you can either do it like this, like I'm showing, or you could also stick a toothpick in it and kind of dip it in 
um, just really gently swirl it around but all I do is kind of roll it around and then I just put them on some parchment paper and kind of use a fork with some melted chocolate to just smooth it out and perfect it a little bit and you just need to store these in the fridge or freezer and they harden up really quickly so it doesn't take long yeah that's the finished product so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are inspired to make this or make some Halloween treats yourself. Even if you don't celebrate Halloween, these are just fun treats to eat anyways. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.